thanks for joining me again. Um, as you can see, I've got a new set. I've got a wonderful green screen behind me and I uh, thought I'd upgrade. So hopefully um, this green screen is going to be wonderful and there's not too many glitches. So please excuse if there's any little bugs kind of flitting around the place. If you haven't stumbled across it yet, I've created a super epic article called 200 Ways to Beat Eczema. If you want to check it out, please click on the link below. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Because I've gone through eczema and topical steroid withdrawal, I feel very passionate about this. We all know how overwhelming and confusing it can be when you have eczema or you're going through topical steroid withdrawal and you're having to trudge through countless hours online, trying to find remedies, trying to find treatments that work. Even just having randoms approach you in the street, throwing it in your face about how bad your skin looks and oh my gosh, what's wrong with you? And have you tried coconut oil? And you know, all those types of things that you know are not going to work for you, although it does for some people. Um, it can be extremely confusing. It can be extremely annoying, extremely time consuming. So I wanted to put it all in one list for you. That's why I go over everything, including all your dietary components that help your skin. And no, M&Ms are not part of the healthy diet. I'm talking about vegetables, nuts, whole foods, fruit. And... Oh, I'm not talking about, oh, don't worry. Anyway, I also cover what to put on your skin. And... Oh. Also, things to consider in your environment. And finally, various other therapies. Basically, your health will start with your gut. Your skin health will start with your gut. Anything to do with inflammation usually starts with the gut and um, you know, most of your immune system actually um, originates from the gut. So that's why I really do harp on a lot about diet being the key to good health because it really is. If you don't take care of your gut and your digestive system, then you're gonna have issues with inflammation, eczema, asthma, allergies, all sorts of, um, all of these sorts of things. Unfortunately for us, taste is a very crude sense. We are so physically and psychologically addicted to the diets that we live with today. The traditional Western diet is just all about processed foods, sugar, fat, high carbs, you know, just, just really junky kind of food. And this is not what you're gonna heal with. In fact, most people are willing to spend, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars on creams or lotions or treatments or therapies. And although they're all great to help support your body, as soon as you tell those people, you know, just stop eating ice cream and have some vegetables, it's like, yeah, yeah, you know, I tried it for a month and it didn't work for me. Well, that's, you know, in my opinion, that's a cop out. Just because something doesn't work straight away, you just got to try harder. You really do have to research as hard as you can. You have to um, talk to as many people as you can, find out what is actually going on with your gut and then address it. And I, and I do admit, it can be pretty hard to figure out what the actual correct diet is for you because everybody's triggers and causes are different, everybody's um, physiology is different. So that's why, you know, one, one solution doesn't fit all. So the key is really to find out what's going on with your gut, remedy it, and then you basically have two choices. You can either continue eating all the good foods, all the alive foods, fresh foods, whole foods, you know, fresh fruit and veggies and nuts and, um, you know, good quality meat, good, and, and basically just all the foods that are gonna strengthen your body, support your body, um, make sure all of your cells are gonna be better quality than the last ones, or you could choose to go back to the food that causes inflammation food that's going to be triggering your eczema, triggering your topical steroid withdrawal even further. And we all know those foods are uh, things like coffee, things like alcohol, baked foods, sweets, ice cream, gluten, yeast, soy, dairy, all these things are uh, eczema triggering. And if you do have um, a gut that's not working properly, then you really do need to address that first. And you really only need to look at people who have had long standing eczema and have cured it to see what they've done. If you just sift through the internet and have a little bit of a look, you'll see that the majority of them have cured it through their diets. Not just trying it for a month, not just cutting out gluten or dairy, but actually trying to heal their guts, heal their systems, and then continue with a, with a life of healthy food. As they say, happy gut, happy... Um, yeah. So now let's say you're doing the right thing. 
you're eating the right food, you're trying to heal your system, heal your digestive tract, what else can you do? On my 200 list, you will find a bunch of other things. It's not all about diet. You will find all types of therapies, all types of um, lotions to deal with the immediate effects of trying to moisturize or dry up ooze or, or deal with the itch or deal with inflammation. You, you can find lots of really good uh, topical agents for that. Not steroids, by the way. There is literally a cubic ton of products that you can use on your skin. Um, not to mention things that you can put in your bath as well, from salts to clays to all manner of things to help kill bacteria and relax the skin. And I have to say, baths are very soothing, so it is one of my favorites. And then I go on to deal with the external onslaught of irritants that we get every day from our air quality. We've got den from animals, dust mites, we've got pollution. Um, our water quality, which is uh, you know full of chemicals, it can be very drying. Um, and also, of course, the water that we drink as well is another thing. So I deal with all of those, all of those things. And the list really does go on and on and on. So if you'd like to see what else I've got on there, please feel free to have a look at my list down below and go and check it out for yourself. There were even a few things on that list that even surprised me. Breast milk. Hopefully you discover something new as well. And, um, and if you like the video, if you want to see more, please click subscribe and tell me which of the 200 things on my list that you've used and have worked for you. Thank you for stopping by and happy healing.